and welcome to Chef's Review. In today's episode, I want to present to you a corn dog maker from Royal Catering. Where can you find such a device? Well, on open air festivals, food stalls, bistros, cafes, and alike, maybe cinemas as well. It works with 230 volts, so you don't need a special power outlet. You just plug it in and off you go. Uh, it has 1500 watts of power, so it heats up really quickly and you can produce a lot of corn dogs. The housing is all made stainless steel, which is first corrosion resistant and it's easy to clean. Also, it is scratch proof. The heat plates though, they're made of aluminium, uh, which guarantees uh, even heat distribution. It also Teflon coated, so it prevents the dough from sticking to the surface. Talking about the surface, there's a nice pattern to it, so your corn dogs will look really appetizing. Uh, two more features, there's this drip tray, um, so any excess dough will be caught by the drip tray. The drip tray is made of stainless steel, so you can um, put it in a dishwasher after service, nothing will happen to it. Controls. Operation of the device is really simple and easy. There's only two controls. There's the temperature regulation, so uh, which also acts as an on and off switch. So all you have to do is set the right temperature and there's this timer. So my personal advice is always to put the timer on. Of course, every recipe will have different time on it, so you have to figure it out for yourself. From my experience, I know a couple of batches of corn dogs will go straight in the bin, but after that, you'll make sure every single batch is perfect. Um, there's two indicator lights. The green one goes on. As soon as you plug it in, it indicates that the power is on, obviously. There's another one, the heat indicator. This will go off as soon as the device reaches the service temperature. And about the service temperature as well. Um, before you first use it, it's always a good thing to set the maximum temperature, uh, let it heat up, sit there for a while. When the smoke clears, you can turn it down to your service temperature. Of course, it also depends on your recipe. So, in my case, it is around 200 degrees, so let's set it to 210. And how about we see the device in action? The recipes you will find on the internet. I personally like it a little bit spicy, so I always mix a little bit of chili, cayenne pepper and um, cajun spice in it. So all you have to do, uh, just do four, just put some dough in. Don't worry if you put too much, that's what the drip tray is for. There you go, just enough on the bottom. Then all you have to do is just drop your sausage in just like so and if you need it just put a little bit more dough on top don't worry if it overflows that's not really important there you go and then close it down so we need three minutes to get them ready all right so they're done let's see how they look like Look at those bad boys, they really look perfect. So what you have to do, just take them out, a bit of mustard. In order to clean these things, uh, all you have to do is just turn it off, uh, wait for the device to cool down and because it's Teflon coated, nothing should stick to it. So all you have to do is just wipe it down with a piece of paper, maybe spray it with a little bit of oil, but that's not really necessary. And the device is ready for the next day service. Alright, so if you're interested in those machines, you probably be also interested in some other machines uh, Royal Catering has an offer. So go and check the website for waffle makers and hot dog makers. Um, but since you ordered this one, it will come in a sturdy box like this with lots of packaging material in it. I won't take everything out because there's a lot of it with foil and bubble wrap in it. So it will stay safe during transport. So definitely arrive fully functional at your place. Uh, Royal Catering gives you also a three years warranty. Should anything break, just send it back to them. They'll fix it in no time and they send it back to you. So 
If you like the video, just hit the like button. If you want me to test a different machine, just leave a comment in the comment section. I thank you guys for watching and I see you next time.